So fellas, I'm out here in New Jersey fishing, doing some ice fishing. I got all my tip-ups out there. You guys can see two of my close friends sat in the tent right over there. And one rod, one of the fishing came to me and he said, Leo, <laughs> let's do a little challenge, you know? So there you go. I got here my mystery tackle box, ice fishing edition box. We gotta do a one versus one challenge. One rod, one of fishing versus extreme full of fishing. Whoever one catches, you know, one fish on which your first wins. Or whoever one catches, you know, most fish on most yours wins. All right, multi species, anything counts. There is a little catch, of course. Winner gets a trophy and a loser, you know, we need to, uh, <laughs> we need to get a bite off a shiner, you know. So hopefully I'm going to win. We will see. Stay tuned, fellas. All right, folks, listen up. Usually I do a very throughout unboxing. This time it's not going to be like that. I have already opened this box. I know already what is inside. I'm just gonna quickly go through it with you guys because you know, this is a one versus one challenge. And as soon as I finish this, one rod and I, we are going to get this thing started, okay? So let me just quickly show you here what came inside my box, okay? We got here for today, the Lunker Hunt Maybug bait jar all right we got here a jns custom jigs scented gojo red with a little plastic trailer we got the impulse reactionary uh, baits also with a little <laughs> pink minnow trailer i mean i guess mr tackle box really knows i like pink i'm not just plain coincidence <laughs> we got two very small tungsten kinders tungsten jig heads right here and we have the demon tongue jns deadly slow fall little spoon okay so five lures here hopefully i'll be able to catch five fish on which i definitely don't want to bite the head off of a of a minnow you know what i'm saying so let me get this set up and let's get it started let's make this video a little bit interactive all right who do you guys think it is going to win. One rod more fishing or extreme full of fishing. I'll leave a poll in the cards above. Make sure you participate. All right, let's do this. Not gonna lie to you guys, folks. There's a Mr. Tackle Box ice fishing challenge. Is going to be a little bit troublesome today. I mean, you know, I've been jigging here for the last two days, not doing the challenge. It's been a little bit tough to catch fish. So the most realistic thing that I can do right now, seriously, to catch something, is to start with this little jig head right here, you know, that we got in the box. And I'm gonna actually tip it with uh, my secret weapon that actually one rod and I are both using, wax worms. Let's do it. Fish on. Oh yeah, hell yeah. First fish of the day on the first thing from the Mr. Tackle Box. There you go, a nice little yellow perch on the tungsten jig with a little wax worm. Game's on, bro. One rod better work hard for this. Crazy, he's releasing his crappie there he just caught. I'm releasing my yellow perch. Man, one one already, what? Have to step my game up. Okay, folks, so we got the easiest thing out of the way here in this box. Now comes really the real challenge, you know. So I guess I gotta tip this little jig head with a little JNS scented Gojo Red something. Oh, hopefully, we catch something on this stuff. Oh. Thank you. Man. Dude, thank you so much, Zach. I appreciate it, man. Right thank you very much, man. <laughs> Time to take a little break, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no way. You gotta be kidding me. What is that? What is this? On the artificial? Oh, yeah. Look at that. All artificial. What? Ah, I need to step my game up now. 
this MTB challenge is a little bit too tough, guys. So my friend Zach here is going to drill a few more row holes for you. Maybe two, three here, two over there, you know. Oof, so maybe we can catch some fish. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that, that ain't gonna break, all right? This is some big stuff right here. All right, two holes there. One of these is gonna have a trophy crappie, dude. That's true, you can't blame them for that. Oh my god, things are not looking good for me. Looks like you're out of chatter for dinner. Ah, uh, no, I have to catch up. Look at them, they have. It's micro, but it counts. It's micro, man. On the, on the lure, oh it's man. Oh, look at these guys. They always try to go into a defensive posture. Yeah. Damn, son. Oh, fish on! Oh, hell yeah! Two on the boat, dude! Yeah, you see this here? Alright, dude, just to say I'm not cheating, alright? Only artificial, man! Never been so happy to see a freaking yellow perch, man! Oh! Up, yeah, catching up. catching up, dude. You are at three, right? I'm at three. You're at yeah, two now. There you go, man. Clean Little minnow set. clean hook set right here. Bang, son. Oh, the, pink, the pink. That's your first ever fish on an artificial bait. Yeah, it is. Ice. Through the ice. Through the ice, yeah. Let me release this guy over here because I still have catching up to do. Bang, go. Bye. Nice. All right, one more to catch up. Quick update on this Mr. Tackle Box challenge, folks. It's been really, really tough. I'm not kidding. Like, look at the number of the holes that we have drilled here, you know? There's one here, one here, one there, one there, two more here, one there, over there, over here, all over the place. And I've been jigging the whole morning. <laughs> right now it's 3-2 to one rod, one we're fishing. He caught two yellow perch, one crappie. I got two yellow perch. Mr. Tackle Box better help me out, man. Well, let's keep fishing. Hopefully we'll beat this challenge because, you know, man, I definitely don't want to bite on a shiner, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it. All right, so let me just quickly show you guys. I was using this little impulse reactionary baits, but because the minnow is so big and the bite today has been so bad, fish has been so finicky, so finicky I kind of cut it in half to help me out now we're gonna switch from this here and i guess i gotta try to catch one on the either the lunker hunt you know what let's go back to the jns custom jigs here the gojo red but i'm telling you the size of the fish here are not really big i swear to you guys so instead of putting like a whole one of this on the hook what i'm going to do i think i'm gonna take these legs out even though it takes a lot of the action out i'm gonna take these legs out at a certain point to keep it short compact so we can actually hook a fish on this thing so again i do understand that these little balls here you know add a lot to the action right maybe resembling a mini crawfish here however if i get the bite on these little claws alone i am not going to hook them up today not not today not the size of the fish in this place so i'm taking these out you know, and then I'm going to hook this here through the center, try to make it very small and compact. It's still with some action, as you guys can see. Check this out now. Huh? Still has some legs on the side. So maybe the fish will think that this is some kind of a you know, <laughs> little creature. Kind of resembles a little human being, a little cactus from Final Fantasy. But anyways, let, let's, get, let's give it a try, all right? Oh, yeah, we got a heated shelter, you guys. It's too cold. Yep, been in there. It's interesting. Ah! That's right. <sighs> Yeah. You guys are the crazy folks. <laughs> <laughs> Fish, Fish on! Fish on! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! Oh. Woo! Baby! Oh, 
we're at 3-3 three, three now, bro. 3-all, three man. 3-all, dude. Damn. This is going to be a difficult challenge now. Well done. Yeah, let me... Alright dude, now that's legit. Thought that big one, huh? Uh, so it's still 3-3 three, three here. I'm busting my butt to win here. And someone here is taking a nap. I was fishing, you saw my reaction time. Right, fishing. You call this fishing dude? Dude, you call this fishing dude? It's all frozen here, dude. Oh man, the things I have to deal with. Fish on! Oh! Oh, dude! Son! Let me land this fish! Dude, is that freaking giant pickerel? Uh, not a giant, but uh, that seems like a... Yeah, definitely a pickerel. Ooh, without a little jig? Ooh, yeah, dude! A little jig with the longer hunch! Oh my god! Gotta let it run now. I'm not using an ice ice rod, you know, so I'm using four pound test too. Oh, that's then got man. teeth, dude. Oh my god. Oh crap. Oh. We'll see, it might be a pike. Jeez. Man. I gotta hand it to you. This is first fish in like two hours. Yeah. Nuts. It's been tough. Oh. Pick roll. Pick roll. Oh hell yeah, son! What the hell? I don't care about the size of the pickerel or the pickerel. I'm winning this challenge now for so far, dude. Four to three, yeah. He just took dude, look at that hook check set, man. this out, man. Right the A little bit more, I would have been cut. Four pound test, man. No doubt. Wow, dude. All right, well, let me unhook it. We all have proof here. This is the fourth fish. Release this guy. Didn't really gut hook him, but he's bleeding a little bit for some reason. So uh, let me get this out here. There we go. Yeah, bleeding a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's say bye bye to the good old Picro here. All right, there he goes. Damn you, Leo. Dude, gotta work hard now, dude. All right, now I gotta work hard. You can almost taste the shiner, huh? <laughs> All right, folks, after two hours, we are finally getting this game almost done. We only got one more thing for today. Where did it go? Wait, wait, where, where the, wait, what? Where did it go? So all right here, right here. There we go. Check this out, huh? Last thing that we got for today is the demon dong. <laughs> it's a, it's a vertical jigging spoon, all right? So this one's gonna be tough, but we'll try our best to complete this limb. Let's do it. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I've never seen spoon like this before. It is uh, pretty weird, pretty odd. But anyways, I'm tipping it with a little wax worm here because ice anglers do that all the time. Let's keep going. This is the last one for the day. Whew, hopefully we'll do it. Dude, this spoon is carrying all the fish. The spoon here is carrying all the small fish away. It's not like this small fish is going to look at this thing and give it a bite. You know what I'm saying? For sure. What? That's it! Oh, boy! Holy moly! A bluegill, dude! Check that out! Bluegill on the spoon! Dang! Dang, son! son. That's it, dude! I'm sorry, bro! Hey, it's the shimmy time for hey, me! Hey, man! Well, Whoo! Good God. stuff! If you want to see how Leo caught his fish, 
check this channel out in the video description below. Now it's time for me to bite the head off the shiner. All right, say bye bye, Bluegill. Damn, guys, you are not here to see this fishing session. This was a hard fought challenge, okay? I gotta tell you this much. Right now is 4 p.m. I started jigging this morning around 7.30 a.m. And I caught only five fish jigging. So you get the idea, right? So we gotta give credit to one rod when we're fishing for at least catching three fish. However, it is sashimi time, bro. It is, and that was a good come from behind victory because I was up for quite a bit, then you came back two in a row in the last 10 minutes. That was, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, he was leaping a little bit though. But all right, <laughs> let's see. Man. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Damn it, Jada. <laughs> Jada, why are you cracking on the ice, dude? Gotta bite the head. Sorry, Shiner. Your life is no more. I thought you were gonna get eaten by a pike, but in fact, it happens to be an Asian angler who doesn't like eating fish. Savor it, bro. Bon appetit. I hate eating fish, dude. I've never eaten a raw fish before. <laughs> What's it taste like? You've eaten sashimi, right? Yeah, yeah. Not a golden shiner, but uh, oh. yeah. Doesn't smell very good. <sighs> All right, here we go. Let me let me get a couple licks first. <laughs> I think we can do this. Got to bite clean off. I'm good. Not a very good flavor, huh, bro? Tastes pretty fishy, man. Tastes pretty fishy. <laughs> so there you go, guys. So far, challenges with one rod more of fishing. I'm two for two. Thankfully, you know, first the pepper challenge, now the MTB ice challenge, but who knows, you know? Next time, we may do even a better challenge with a more outrageous punishment. You know, I mean, we are good friends indeed, right? So if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff and you guys want to see another challenge between one rod more fishing and extreme full of fishing, make sure to comment in the comment section below. And you know, you guys can give me ideas for punishment too, you know, so we can work things out. But thank you for watching today's video. Super happy to have completed this lamb. Not gonna lie, it was a tough day, you know freezing out here at 32 Fahrenheit <laughs> but anyways guys thank you very much for all your support and your love tight lines I'll see you guys next time